The Changing of the Guard, a tale as old as time. For well over a decade, a champion reigned supreme, standing tall above the rest. But you know what they say, oh, how the mighty have fallen, and fallen they have. Fourteen-time champions Argentina find themselves in a position they have never faced, an empty waste, their title belt belonging to a new champion atop the hill, Ghana, doing what many of us thought to be impossible, dethroning the unstoppable force and claiming the belt for themselves. For the first time in our tournament's rich history, Argentina will be on the offensive to claim back what they feel is rightfully theirs. Sweet 16, a celebration of individuality, freedom, and cherished times. Year 16 marks just that, a return to the moments we long embraced and continue still to this day. A gathering of nations from all over the world where for one weekend we all stand united. A coming together of friends and brothers where for 90 minutes they face off as adversaries. This year's tournament hopes to embrace just that. As always, many teams will make the journey with a newfound hope that winning the title belt can be accomplished. Defending champions Ghana, now playing as Wales, return hoping to thwart such attempts. Can Argentina reclaim glory? Will Portugal, who fell short last year by the widest of margins and felt the title belt should have been theirs, complete the journey this time. Could it be the United States? Or Brazil? Or the Netherlands, who make FIFA history? Will this year finally be the year Spain reigns triumphant? Or will the returning champions forge a new dynasty? However, much like many of the competitors have felt over the years, not everything is bliss. This year's gathering has been marred with controversy, difficulties, and trials. As we get older, we realize the moments and memories we hang on to slip further away with each passing day. But here we are, together again. The most controversial happening of all, a step back in time. The FC Dragoners committee has made the decision to not succumb to the selfishness and greed of modern day FIFA. The decision to look back upon what made the beautiful game, well, beautiful. The choice to revert back to FIFA 14 and its lack of national team licensing issues. This decision was decided upon in respect of all who travel near and far to participate, those who are wanting the choice to be able to use their respective national squad without being held hostage by those very corrupt practices we stand against. When times were much simpler, innocence was cathartic, and your sweet 16 was resolute. The moment is here, the time is now. Welcome to the 2024 FC Dragon Riders Sweet 16 Invitational, high upon high. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the FC Dragon Riders Sweet 16 Selection Show. My name is Rob. I play as the Dutch. I'm joined here with the mighty Uruguayans looking to get out of the group stage for the first time. Team USA is also here. Last year's runner-up, Portugal, has also arrived. And lastly, we have Brazil. We thank you all for tuning in. I believe we have some viewers currently on the road to Spain, tuning in to watch to see who they might be playing. So we say hello. We love you. We're excited to see you guys all here soon. Um, yeah, before we get started, uh, a massive change this year for our FIFA tournament. We have went back in time to FIFA 14 because, and wait, we have, we actually have, an, we have another arrival stepping in right now. Who is it? France has just arrived. There he is in all of his glory. The French have arrived, fresh off hosting the Olympics. But like we were saying, the FIFA, cor the FIFA practices have become very corrupt. And this is actually, obviously, the year that we'd be playing FIFA 2025. But because of those corrupt practices, we've had to revert back in time to FIFA 14 because we're missing many, many teams in the newest FIFA games. So the way that this is going to work is we're going to bring up a spinner wheel and we're going to draw the teams to find out who plays each other. One new happening this year, we have three CPU teams that will be participating in the tournament to make an even 20. So we have 17 total competitors with three CPU teams. Those three CPU teams are represented by Mexico, who we fucking hate. By Sweden, we love Zlatan, so we wanted Zlatan to be back in the tournament. 
And then lastly, we brought in Switzerland because we love the Swiss and their money. Um, our defending champion wants to pop in here and say, correction, only missing Brazil. So the defending champs are already talking some shit to Brazil. The defending champion can't play as Ghana because he has to play as Wales. So like I said, we're going to draw brackets. This year's host is Spain, so they are Team A1. They will kick off the tournament tomorrow at 4 p.m. So we're going to start with the drawing, and we're going to draw B1, C1, D1, A, B, C, D. I'm an idiot. I can't count. And E1, and then we'll go back around A2, B2, C2, so on and so forth until our group stage is set. Once our group stage is set, what we will do from then is we'll do a bracketology. We'll go through. We'll break down the matches. We'll see who's in the group of death. We'll see who draws the CPU player. We're hoping that Uruguay happens to draw all three CPU players because that, that would be pretty funny for Kerry to get knocked out by CPU players. But if we, uh, we pop in here. So with that being said, I'm sorry we don't have much more of a selection show. I'm, I'm here by myself doing commentary because our longtime commentator co-host Max Beeler is currently not here. My also longtime commentator co-host Blake Weeder, who plays as Ghana slash Wales, is also not here. So I'm doing the duties by myself. So we say cheers to you. But what we want to do is we want to take a second. We want to talk about our sponsors. We have two amazing sponsors this year. Our first sponsor is a beautiful place here in Kearney, Nebraska. We call the Palm Garden Lounge. So we're going to roll and tell you a little bit about Palm Garden Lounge. The FC Dragon Riders Sweet 16 Invitational is brought to you by the Palm Garden Lounge. Pop on in. Check out the dreary atmosphere. The locals will be sure to mingle with you. Fancy a game of pool? Or how about the best tall boy beers in town? Maybe you're just here to take some shots with your buddies. Don't worry, they got a phone if you need an Uber. All served by this handsome feller. The Palm Garden Lounge, proud FIFA sponsor. So yeah, that's the Palm Garden Lounge. If you're in Kearney, Nebraska, go to the Palm Garden Lounge, drink some 64 ounce beers, talk to some middle-aged divorced women, whatever floats your boat. Um, we have a question from Bonafide Beast. Why isn't he playing as Ghana this year? I believe Ghana is not in the game. Is that correct? Or it could be because he's also played as Wales for a long time, and he has prime Gareth Bale. He has our longtime friend Joe Allen, who's also a co-commentator, and he has Aaron Ramsey, the formal Arsenal man. Uh, we have a great friend who's also sponsoring us w once again. Burke, will you go get me a bottle of pickle whiskey, please? Um, a longtime sponsor of the FIFA tournament, Wicked Pickle, Pickle Whiskey, brought to us by Fisherman's Corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the Fisherman's Corner Commercial. Enjoy. So yeah, Wicked Pickle. Also, yeah, we want to welcome Corn Man. Corn Man is back. He totally ditched us and skipped out on last year's FIFA tournament, but our largest benefactor, the reason why we're here, the man who has funded our tournament, who's continued to fund our tournament for the last couple of years, is... He's back. So, Cornman, if you're watching, I bow to you. I do this to you. Cornman Gobbles. I, th I believe his name is Mark. So, Mark, we love you. Oh, Cornman Gobbles. He's in the chat. He says hi. Yeah. Hey, Cornman, everyone wants to say hi to you. Hold on. I'm going to change the camera here. To it. Oh, shit. Good call. Thank you, Cornman. I got that fixed now. I appreciate you. All right. We're actually going to go to the actual bracket draw now. So, like I said, the way that this is going to work is we are going to now select which team will be in B1. So I just got to pull up my Excel sheet here. Bear with me. I'm a one-man show. Okay. I think my mic is good. I think we're all set to, yeah. Give me one second here. Okay, 
we should have sound. All right, Burke, can you hand me the controller? All right, so here comes the bracket draw, the moment we've all been waiting for. First up, we're drawing B1. Who will be in group B1? B1, Argentina. So give me one second here while I pull up the mic. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to draw for C1. For C1, we have we have Uruguay. Carry. All right. So at least you know you don't have to play Argentina. <laughs> Burke's like fuck. <laughs> All right, we're going to Group D. Who will be D1? D1 will be the almighty Vlach. The almighty Vlach. Vlach, you are D1. If you are listening, I believe our defending champion is Blake. I believe you're with him, and you are listening in. Vlach, you are D1. And lastly, to round out Group E for position E1. Burke is hoping and praying. Okay, Australia, Joey. I believe that is you, Joey. You are Group E1, Joey. All right, so up next, this will be the person who opens up the FIFA tournament and plays against Spain. Our first match, our first match of the tournament. Who will play Spain? Oh, he's gonna get his. He gets a CPU. <laughs> Damn it! Should I move that player? Oh, I, I feel like I need to. No, I'll keep him in the group, but I'll move him to the third position because we don't want the opening match to be against the CPU. But they're still in the group, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I'm gonna move Australia to group to A3, or Switzerland, I mean, to A3. One of them has 2.6, I think. Okay, here comes group B2. Who is going to play Argentina? It's going to be Brazil. Nope, he's safe. Ah, oh, Mexico, that's fine. Max can play a CPU first because he is not... Max, you get a CP, you're playing Mexico. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, Group C, who will play Uruguay? Kerry, who is going to play Uruguay? It's going to be fucking, <laughs> it's going to be Wales. <laughs> we know Blake Weeder is absolutely pumping his fist right now because he is playing Uruguay in the first round. Let's check in with our chat. Nobody is, okay, I don't know who, who Aviachi is. We are streaming in the car, baby. Let's go. All right, cool. Let me, just give me a second here. I get it back to my screen. Okay, so we have Wales playing against, okay, this is for group D2. This is who will be playing Vlach. Please, God, let it be me. Flatch is going to be playing Graham, who is Italy. So there's a little rivalry already budding in that car ride right, on the way here. Group E. So this is E2. This is who's going to play Joey in Australia in the opening match of Group E. The Cameroon. No fucking clue who that is. I think it's like Boone or somebody. Okay, we're going back to group A to see who will be playing Joe in the opening match. There's a good chance it could be a CPU again because there's two fucking CPUs left. And it is Belgium. So we have Belgium and Spain opening up the FIFA, FIFA tournament. Boon. All right, group B, Argentina, Mexico, and who else? It's getting nervy. It's getting nervy. It's getting nervy here. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Schaefer, you are in Group B with Max in the CPU Mexico. Group C, Group C is Wales, ooh, Wales, Uruguay, and Jimmy. You're pretty fucked. <laughs> Carrie, I'm sorry. Gary, you're probably getting you're probably getting knocked out in the group stage again. All right, Group D: Germany, Italy, 
Germany, Italy, and the CPU team, Sweden. This is getting nervy at the end here. I would not be mad if I got drawn right now. Graham. And Group E with Australia, Cameroon, and please God be the Netherlands. And Brazil is safe. Brazil does not have to play Argentina. I'm going to get knocked out in the group stage. This sucks. All right, Group A. This is a rounding out Group A. We have Spain, we have Belgium, we have CPU Switzerland, and we have who will be it? Portugal. So we get a rat we get a good first round of Spain and Portugal. God, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be Argentina, Mexico, England, and the Dutch. I fucking know it. Corey, I hope this isn't you. I'll take this for you, Corey. This is group B, Argentina, Mexico, England, and oh, the USA. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad though. I mean you finish second in the group, you make it out. <laughs> Germany. Okay, so next is Uruguay, Wales, Russia, and God. Who is going to be in the group with Colombia? Yeah. Germany, Italy, Sweden, and will it be the Dutch or will it be the French? I will take one of these next two, no problem. It's going to be me. All right, I'm Group D with Germany. Graham, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm sorry. I have to do it. And then lastly, to round out our group, our last team in Group E with Australia, Cameroon, Brazil. Corey, you've got a really good chance to make it out of group play. The French. Australia, Cameroon, Brazil, and France. Okay, give us one second. And we are going to put together the groups, and we will be right back with what's happening next. All right, everybody, welcome back. So we've done group play. We've, we've advanced through, and this is what we're looking at. So this is group A. The only person we really have here in group A is Canaan. So Canaan, Portugal. How do you feel about your group? Yeah. I'm confident about my group. Oh, I did I did this I got a I did this in the wrong order. Um, I got to fix the order here. Can I edit these Can I not edit these? It doesn't really matter. It fucked it up. So the opening match is actually going to be Portugal and Spain. Um, so, Joe, I don't know if you're listening. You're actually the opening match versus Canaan because I think that's what it's going to be. Nope. It's, it actually doesn't matter because it's all. it doesn't really matter how we do it. Okay. So we're okay. It doesn't really matter how we do it. CPU difficulty is going to be pro. I definitely stand a chance. You don't understand what I have in my arsenal with the big three of the Dutch. And I got Martin Stecklenburg, a younger Martin Stecklenburg. So opening match is going to be Spain and Belgium, actually. Um, if I had to sit here and look at this group, it's a toss-up of who I would think finishes first. Joe doesn't really seem to care this year, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna say Kanan finishes top of this group. I'm gonna say Joe finishes second. Belgium obviously is gonna finish third. Switzerland will obviously probably finish fourth because they're a CPU. If we scroll down, this is a unfortunate group for Charlie. <laughs> you have two powerhouses, then you have you mean the. Luckily, you guys are going to get a warm-up, beat-up game on Mexico. Hayes, do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's a it's, yeah. USA has got to play Argentina, and then they have two mass. This is a. If you look at this on paper, you say 
this is the group of death because you have the United States has to play arguably the best team in the world. Then they have to play England, who they hate, and then they have to play Mexico, who they hate. Do you think you can beat Max? In my head, yes. Was this the FIFA tournament? We played 14 last, where you got second? This might have been the year that Hayes. This might have been it. So we're back with the team that that you that Hayes took and and finished second. I think you actually beat Max in one of those games, and you guys went to a deciding game. Oh, way back in the day. Well, Hayes is one of two people ever. Wait, did Max? He didn't. No, he didn't lose. Yeah. Yeah, so you're the only person that's ever beat Max in FIFA. So you did beat okay, Kanan has beat him. So we have two people sitting on the same couch who have actually beaten Argentina in the FIFA tournament, so Bung Taker did not consent to using CPU teams. I'm sorry, Bung Taker. So as we scroll down here. Um you know what I would like if Blake Weeder is listening, I would like him to please call in. Right now to the tournament, Blake Weeder, call my cell phone and let's let's get some thoughts of, of what our defending champions think of, of so of the drawing overall so far and who they have in their group because I feel really bad for Kerry, who plays as Uruguay, because he's played in this tournament for like ten years now and he's never made it out of group play and he happened to get one of the toughest groups because that Russian team which Russia's back by the way. Jimmy had been playing as Mexico, but I guess he's playing as Russia now. He feels comfortable going back to his, his roots. Um, Zach Grove, I'm sorry. I think Uruguay and, and Colombia is a toss-up of who wins that game. But I do think probably Wales tops this group. But I don't know, man. Rush is tough. Jimmy always plays Jimmy always plays his opponents really, really tough. So I don't know. I don't know how this one's gonna go. I know Zach Grove's not horrible. I just like to I can't say Kerry's gonna go 0 and three. That makes me feel too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call up uh, our defending champion here and get his thoughts. Also, if Spain is listening, so I'd really like to talk to Spain. So we're in. okay. Here we have we have defending champions uh, Wales on the phone right now. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, so how how are you? How's the drive? How's the flight over uh, from Wales? It's pretty good. Um, pretty good. Had a, had a couple of beers before the drive, and now we're just listening to, uh, I don't know, Adam, is this Italian music? We're listening to some Italian music or something, uh, but Germany, Italy, and, and Wales are en route. We're about an hour away. Yeah. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so how, how do you feel about your group? You have Russia, who's played by Jimmy. You have Colombia, who's played by Zach, who the number one supporter and benefactor of all of FIFA loves – Zach Grove, so you know he's going to pull some strings to try and, you know, rig this yeah, match. I mean, I, yeah, enough strings have been pulled already in the tournament that I'm, I'm just confident with whatever comes in front of me. Um, it's going to be a, a it's going to be a different kind of game. I imagine it being a low-scoring group, a low-scoring tournament overall, but I think we can, I think we'll, we'll eke out a lead in each one of our games. I have one question. Do you feel bad for Kerry? No mercy. <laughs> All right. Uh, is I, I guess let's hear from Graham and uh, let's hear from let's hear from Germany and Italy. How are they feeling about their groups? I think up next, I think it's going to be Graham and I's group anyway. So Group D. Uh, Germany, Italy. How do you guys feel about the bracket? Not good. Not good, boss. Italy sounds confident. That's Germany. That was that was Germany. Oh, sorry. Hi, Blatch. Hello. So you feel good? I mean, hey, man, you, you probably could beat Sweden. So. I I don't believe I'm with Sweden. Yeah, you're with me. Oh, CPU, yeah, so you get we all get a CPU game, so we all are guaranteed See, probably three probably points. I could probably beat the CPU, but I do not believe I'll be beating the other two. So I think I will, I will bow out after uh, the group play. Let's get uh, Blake. What who, your thoughts on this group? Who do you think wins the group? Sweden, the Netherlands, Germany, and Italy, or who's on the group? Yep, Sweden, the Netherlands, Germany, and Italy. Um, I mean, in all honesty, I think Adam does beat Sweden. I think he has the mental fortitude to beat a computer. 
But I, I think, yeah, I think this might be the greatest Italian lineup that we've ever seen in FIFA. So I think Italy wins out. I think the Netherlands finish up in second. Germany, unfortunately, will will fail to to move out of the group, and then, yeah, Sweden Sweden will will round out the bottom. So Zlatan goes packing. I have a feeling that I'm going to make a deep run this tournament, so I'm going to probably just try to beat be Graham. All right. Well, I appreciate you calling in. I'm going to make another call. I'm going to hear from Spain, and I'm going to hear from Brazil. But uh, thank you so much. Yeah, no we'll, problem. We'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right. There, there's your defending champions. Very confident. Burke, two years in a row you haven't had to play Brazil in the group stage. How do you feel? He feels good. He feels great. Do you think you win this group? Probably. I mean, I think I'm the, I think I'm the favorite. You don't think Corey's the favorite? I didn't make it out of the group <laughs> last year. I feel like I've been in this exact same group like fucking 12 times <laughs> by now. But I feel like you're right. I just think we're helpful. Brock, like, last year Brock won two knockout stage games. So don't count Brock out. He played as... He played as a worse team last year. He played as the Koreans. He traded in the Asians for the Africans. Yeah. Corey, do you think you make it out of the group? You don't. Who's gonna beat you? <laughs> you have you have France though. <laughs> yeah, but I suck at FIFA. All right. I, that I think that was that was FIFA like that was FIFA 19, yeah, 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 because that was the that was the first year we ever broadcasted. It was in your basement, yeah. Yeah. That was at Max's house. I spilled a beer all over Alexis' computer. All right, I'm gonna try calling. I'm going to call up right now. We're going to talk to another one of our friends here. We're going to talk, unfortunately, England, which I know he's going to be mad about it. But we're going to call Charlie and see how he feels about probably getting put in the group of death. If I had to pick the group of death, it's tough. I'd probably say it's either C I mean, I don't know. This, this, this one has two top teams. This has two top teams. This has two top teams. This has one top two. Yeah, they're all pretty fucking even, honestly. He's not going to answer. I'm going to call up Spain. Spain's probably not going to answer either. Spain said he's not a boy. Answer. We're calling up uh, Spain to see how the host feels. What? Hey, hey, Spain, did you watch the uh, bracket drawing? Yeah, how do you feel about your group? You got Canaan, you got Belgium, and you got Switzerland. It's going to be – What I would like to know what difficulty the CPUs will be playing on. They're just going to do pro. Pro, okay. So it's just an automatic win. Huh? I mean, you, you, you never know. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be an automatic win for everyone. Yeah, it might not be for me. I have not touched a FIFA controller since the end of the tournament last year, going in dry. I was hoping to just get knocked out of group play, but but you're gonna have to, have to try really fucking hard to do that. I think it's gonna be hard to not get out of group play, so that's tough. Guess I'll be playing more than three matches, most likely. So do you think you're gonna top the group, or do you think Kanan's gonna top the group? I would expect that Kanan has probably played FIFA the last year, so I'd expect him to be better than me. He was better no, than me last nah, Kanan says he hasn't no. touched FIFA, so. Okay. Well, neither have I, and he was better than me last year, so I'd expect him to be better than me. But if not, I, mean, it's, I think those will be us two will be getting out of that group. I suspect. All right. Uh, do you have a favorite of who you think is going to win the tournament? Uh, yeah, I'd imagine Wales is going to repeat. I'm hoping against it. I'd like to see Brazil or Argentina get up there. But, I mean, Brazil's probably got the most practice hours, but we all know they're going to probably choke and melt down and probably break something. <laughs> Probably break something inside the inside the facilities there. It'll cost us all a lot of money, and that's my biggest prediction: is just a Brazil Brazil <laughs> choke. <meltdown. laughs> yeah. Well, the facilities are really nice. The facilities are really nice. 
hours and hours of practice. All right, how much longer? I hope I'm, hope how, I'm wrong. how much longer till you get here, I Spain? I just went through Axtell, so in 15 All right. minutes, maybe. All right, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. All right, there you heard. You've heard from uh, you've heard from Spain. So we went through all the groups just to repeat them one more time. So our opening match of the FIFA tournament is going to be Spain versus Belgium. Also in that group is Portugal, the runners-up last year, and a Switzerland team that will be controlled by a pro-level CPU. Group B, we have our 14-time champions, non-defending champions for the first time, Argentina back with prime Lionel Messi, prime Carlitos Tevez. We have a we have a fucking like dirty, rugged. Hold on, I'm gonna call right now from England. Let's pick up the phone. England, how are you? What? England, how are you? Good. How are you? Did you hear? Did you see who you're playing? No, my my phone, son's had my phone. I'm walking over to your mom's to get some food right now. Oh well, do you want to know who you have in your group? Yeah. You're food. pretty. You're pretty fucked. You have Hayes, the USA. You have Argentina, Max. You have you, and then you play a CPU Mexico team. So you're going to have to beat Argentina or the USA in order to make it through. I'm going to give it my all. You're going to give your all? Yes, I am. All right. Cliff. Hey, was there, was there a, um, a twist issue? Oh, he's talking to my dad right now. All right. All right. Hey, Charlie, tell my dad I say hi. I will. All right. I love you. Bye. All right. See you later. All right. England doesn't sound too confident. So, yeah, Group B. We have a rugged, retro, non-Christian Pulisic-led USA team. We have a Kyle Beckerman, Michael Bradley, Josie Altidore. You do have fucking Clint Dempsey, though. And you have Breck Shea. That's, and you have Tim Howard. You know, I, I like your chances. I like, I like the USA's chances. I think they're going to make a deep run. I, DeMarcus Beasley. You have a lot of good – you have a lot of good – Anya, yeah, he probably is. You can go deep in the national pool, dude. You could probably find Freddie Adu in there still. Yeah. And we round that out group with the CPU Mexico team. Group C, defending champions, formerly known as Ghana, now known as Wales. We have last year's fourth place finishing team in Russia who played as Mexico last year. We have Cornman Gobbles, our top benefactor's favorite team, Colombia led by Zach Grove. And then we have, unfortunately, probably is going to finish last in the group, Uruguay, which is Kerry, which is, is going to go another year without making it out of group play, but we can all hope and pray. You never know. Group D, we have Italy. Graham, it's his third year coming. He finished third last year, I believe. He is back. We have myself. I finished, I don't know, like seventh or something last year, back with a high-powered Dutch team. We have Germany, who Vlach rounding out. The Germans are going to be tough. They've got a good team on paper, but can Vlach pull the best out of them? That's that's what's going to be remain to be seen. And then we have Sweden controlled by CPU. Zlatan is back in the FIFA tournament. And then lastly, Group E, one more time, Cameroon, led by Brock, who went pretty far in the tournament last year playing as the Koreans. We have the man who's put the most hours in the game. He has the heaviest weight on his shoulders. The expectations are highest for him. If he chokes, it will be the biggest choke job. In FIFA this year, we have Brazil led by Burke. We have probably the least confident player here in France who thinks he's just not going to win any games. And then lastly, we have Joey, who we know is really good at NCAA football. So with that, that concludes the selection show. We thank you for tuning in. Before you go out, we do want to share one more time a lovely commercial from both of our sponsors. Uh, first up is the Palm Garden Lounge. The FC Dragon Riders Sweet 16 Invitational is brought to you by the Palm Garden Lounge. Pop on in. Check out the dreary atmosphere. The locals will be sure to mingle with you. Fancy a game of pool? Or how about the best tall boy beers in town? Maybe you're just here to take some shots with your buddies. Don't worry. They got a phone if you need an Uber. All served by this handsome feller. The Palm Garden Lounge. Proud FIFA sponsor. And just a reminder, we are not done. Thank you for tuning in to our selection show. We will be back tomorrow. Starting off, the stream will actually start at 3 p.m. with our countdown. 30-minute countdown. Stream will play. We'll play some FIFA music in the background. 3.30, we will kick off the pregame show, where I believe Max Beeler will also be here to co-commentate, along with Joe Allen and our defending champion, Wales manager. 
We'll kick off the Spanish National Anthem at 3.55 p.m., and then we have a 4 o'clock p.m. kickoff. We have Spain, your hosts, in Belgium. We'll see you tomorrow.